Hello everybody, Grace Still Plays, and we're back with more of the Long Dark on the Antelope mode. And I managed to find some beef jerky in here. When I was ripping everything down, we ended up getting some beef jerky. Um, so plans for today, I want to check some stuff real fast. My plan is for us to head into the Carter Hydro Dam, stopping off at the logging area beforehand. Is it not craptastic outside? Eh. Of course, it is absolutely dreadfully freezing, as it often is. So you might be saying, actually some people were like, but Gray, what are we going to do about Fluffy? The question isn't what we're going to do about Fluffy. The question is, what is Fluffy going to do about us? That's the plan anyway. We need to, like, seriously move. Sometimes people are like, you need to pick up more stuff sometimes. The only issue is, hold on, this is what we're wearing. It's bad. We have no gloves and we have no hat, which means that every moment that we're outside, we come closer to getting frostbite. Now, now you don't get frostbite immediately, but it's not good for us. Like, very, very bad in the not good kind of way. So, we're gonna try and move on here as quick as humanly possible. As a matter of fact, let me just check something real fast. We have... No, we have the lantern that we could use to heat up the area. The lantern heats up the area by three degrees Celsius, if I remember correctly. Now, I don't normally go up this way because this was a brand new, um, oh, hold on. Let me go ahead and like crouch down for this. This was a brand new outlook tower. So that was uh, quite exciting. We don't usually have one like that. Okay, there's the train derailment. And, of course, there's a wolf. There's almost always a wolf at that train derailment. So, rather than deal with that at this time, I think what we're going to go do is hit the logging area. The logging area is going to be a fantastic stopping point. Well, not stopping point, but an intermediary point. God. For us to get to the, the hydro dam. So, there is a couple of ways that we can deal with Fluffy that I have in mind. Uh, am I going to be able to get down this without having to deal with these friggin' wolves? Hold on, let me check. Ooh. Oh, who are you going after there, wolf? Alright, well, I guess I'll just let you... Are you coming up this way, or... You going after a thing, or... I don't know where that wolf's going. That's actually a little bit concerning. Okay, that's the sad wolf sound that the wolves make when they don't manage to catch what they're running after. If you hear that... I know, that was that was Gray's fantastic wolf sound. Hold on, let me try and get past all these friggin' rocks here. This is ridiculous. We need to get down this. There we go. This is per well, perfect. This is a better way down than the other way that we were going. Yeah, see, we're already freezing. We were outside for less than, I don't know, what is this, like five minutes into the episode? And we're already freezing? That's our problem. Uh, and that's what we're gonna have to deal with. So, until I get like a hat, maybe an actual jacket, some gloves would be freaking nice. We have to stay constantly close to full cover. And when I say full cover, I just mean like something with four walls and a roof. And the problem is most of the four walls and a roof places aren't even warm enough for us to get warm. That's, you know what I mean? The problem is, is that our clothing is so bad that the inside is freezing for us. Um, so that sucks as well. Let me go ahead and get over this hill. Now, the one good thing that we have right now is the weather. Again, super cold, but it's clear. And in the interloper mode, that is a friggin' blessing that you can't pass up. Let's head down here real quick. Uh, we still have plenty of light for the most part. I'm gonna head down here real quick. We're gonna see if we can warm up. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to. Sometimes there's some firewood and stuff over here. What the hell is that? Oh, that's just a piece of the thing clipping through the ground. Ah, oh, these rose hips. I'll stand outside for a short time to go ahead and grab these. Our condition isn't that great either, although you get very used to operating in the interloper mode with ter with freaking terrible condition. So is it freezing in here? No, good. Oh, thank God. I was gonna say, we could turn on our lantern in here to keep ourselves from freezing, but the fact that it's not naturally freezing in here is also kind of nice. So let's start looking under here. I don't normally, oh, can of soup. I was just about to say, I don't normally find jack crap in any of these. Like, it, they're very poor for loot. Now, the hydro dam is very good for loot and there's more stuff that we're going to crap. And there's more stuff that we're going to be doing besides hitting the hydro dam. Well, we may stop there, but 
my plan after we hit the hydro dam is to go back to the camp office, but we're going to take the riverbank because we should get a freaking metric ton of cattail stalks if we do that. I'm also hoping... What's our... All right, hold on. Let me go check something real quick. Uh, we're almost overburdened. Actually, if I drink something, I probably will get my burden down a little bit. I almost want to break down some of these chairs to pass some time and get some of our heat back. But I'm just going to continue to go through these other ones over here. Yep. Cold. Don't you tell me about how cold you are. Get inside this friggin' trailer and be happy about it. Got some accelerant over here, which is kind of nice. That's fine. Actually, these cabins have already been better to me than they normally are. Oh, and I found a... I can't remember if I said it, but I found a piece of beef jerky. Oh, these crates, because there's, sometimes there's stuff in them, but they're so dark and shadowy that you can't always tell. I found a piece of beef jerky in the... Uh, in the lookout tower. Outlook tower, lookout tower, overlook tower, looking out toward the way tower, whatever the hell that tower is, the forestry outpost, outlook, whatever. Oh, Summit Soda. Come on, I see you there, Summit Soda. Don't you lie to me. Freaking bedroll's getting in the way. Come on, come on, come on. Right there. Um, and that was pretty sweet. That was hiding on a, like a counter. And like I said, when I broke everything down, I managed to find it. I totally feel like I just told you guys that story twice. I really do. All right. So that seems to be everything in here for the most part. Yeah. All right. One more trailer left. Again, a little bit of wind sounds like it's kicking up outside. A little bit of wind. But I think we'll be able to make it to the hydro dam without a problem. Now, there's always a wolf near that hydro dam. So we do have to be... What is that? What is that? Oh, a wool ear wrap. Okay. Mm uh... Oh, that's an accessory. You know, I've never gotten anything like this so far. Like the little accessories. That's kind of random. All right. Well, we got something over our ears, I guess. Uh, yay for me. I see something down there. Beef jerky. That beef jerky will hide on you, man. That beef jerky will freaking hide on you. Someone was saying, too, they were like, Gray, you missed um, a match by a windowsill. You got to watch out when you're... See the little embers? See that little, like, floating dusty particle there? A lot of times those look like matches. Although... To be fair, you guys are a friggin' trip. <laughs> people are like, like the, the the video will be like 35 minutes long and people will be like, Gray, you missed matches at 3501. <laughs> so I see what you guys are doing. Um, hmm. Let's see here. Well, how much wood do I have on me right now? I'm very curious. Ah, tw 28 pieces. We have quite a friggin' bit of wood. All right, that's actually not bad at all. Um, I'm trying to think about if I want to grab a torch right now to, uh, have the potential to deal with Fluffy. My plan is to torch Fluffy. No, not actually torch Fluffy, but to toss a torch at him. And I think he'll be, uh, quite scared of such a thing. Now, the other thing I've noticed is that Fluffy is fantastic. Fantastic at bugging out inside of the, uh, the dam. I have had Fluffy doing flips and barrel rolls and floating through the air and all kinds of crazy crap. I don't know if the friggin' Hydro Dam is cursed or haunted. It's probably haunted. That's probably what it is. That is a lot of stags just sitting out over there. The plate is probably friggin' haunted, and it's not really Fluffy. It's the ghost of Fluffy. It's the ghost of Fluffy's past. I'm talking about whether or not you guys wanted to see walking. And, I don't know, like, it was kind of torn. Like, people are like, as long as you're saying something, it's fine. Which is funny, because every once in a while, and I've mentioned this in other videos, every once in a while, I'll get someone that's like, you talk a lot. And I can tell that, I, like, they don't know what it is I do here. <laughs> so, uh, I don't like it when the crows start running amok. Usually, oh, okay, they're just hanging out over there. There's usually a deer right there. I imagine there's a deer right there right now, uh, which maybe we'll deal with later. Oh, no, maybe that's a person. Oh, God, is there, there's almost always a wolf wandering around here, too. All right, let me see if I can grab this dude real quick. Maybe get some feathers, too. This is what I'm talking about, man. Even just going a little bit out of your way, think about it. We're just going a little bit out of our way, and this is probably a two-minute detour. Just to, just to freaking walk all the way over here, check this guy, grab these feathers. Next thing you know, there's a freaking blizzard on you. And you're saying to yourself, well, shouldn't have checked that last guy. Wish I wouldn't have done it. 
But man, these crows are. Oh, it's just the um. It's just the friggin' uh, shadow of the crows. If we have enough daylight, we may be able to do all of this in one shot. I don't know, but I really want to take this this bank back to the uh, the camp office because we are gonna get cattail stalks out the wazoo. Oh crap! All right, that's what I'm talking about. I told you, boys, there'd be a wolf over here. I told you. All right. All right, you wolfy bastard. I know how to deal with your kind. I know how to deal with your kind. Although, we are a little bit slow, which kind of sucks because we're overburdened. Ah, and there's the sad music. The sad music knows what's up, man. You can't fool me. Sometimes it's like, no, we don't do that music on purpose. This music's on purpose. You know it as well as I do. God, that wolf sounds real close. That wolf sounds real freaking close. As long as we keep walking, though, we should be just fine. What is this? Is that fog rolling in, or are those just clouds? I think it just looks like cloud cover. Now, if we get pincered by another wolf, Gray's gonna be out of ideas. I'm gonna, we're gonna have a problem then. I'm gonna be completely out of, uh, I'm gonna be completely out of tricks up my sleeve. But I don't think that we will. I think there's only one that wanders around over there, and we should have led him astray. So... Sometimes there's a box over here, too, I think, if I remember correctly. It's been a little while, man. I don't usually go over. Okay, good. That sad yowl means that he's lost our track, which is kind of nice. All right, I guess there ain't jack crap under here. I remember back in the day, there used to be a deer over here. And there used to be, um, there used to be, like, a box, I thought. Well, I mean, it could spawn randomly, too, but there used to be, like, a deer over here, I thought, as well. All right, let's go on up here. I don't think that there's anything on the corner over here. You never know, though. All right, here we are. Haunted Hydro Dam. Hope you guys are ready. Now, we're dealing with... Oh, see this? It's friggin' freezing in here. Hold on, though. I have a plan for this BS. Ah, there we go. All right, we're set. Let's walk around. Now, a lot of times... A lot of times, Fluffy spawns down below. And you'll hear his little pad and feet walking around. We don't have a pry bar, which sucks. So, a lot of times, the pry bar is where you get all the best loot. But, hopefully, something will happen. No, of course not. I was going to say, hopefully one of these one of these lockers has something. No. Now, if I was going to miss something, now would be the time. Uh, because there is so much crap here. And me having to pay attention to Fluffy's footsteps while commentating and also looking is going to pull my attention in so many different directions. I'm going to miss something. So, feel free to let me know. But I don't know if we're ever going to come back here after we get out of here. Now, some stuff I'm probably going to have to leave here just for burden's sake. Because if I can get like 40 or 50 cattail stalks on the way back, I'll take a cattail stalk over like, I don't know, another... Uh, Another piece of firewood or whatever any day. I kind of wonder how our how our soup is doing too, condition wise. I'll probably look at that maybe a, maybe a little bit later. Actually, I'll probably totally forget to look at it. Search the plastic container. Find something, you bastard. Nothing. Ah. All right, Fluffster. I hear you. I hear you. So are you in there, or are you on the other side by the, uh, the glass? Well, let's take a look. I know you guys think I'm crazy. Alright, I think we're good. Now, I don't know if he's gonna make a beeline up here. I don't think he does. I think he mostly just wanders. Oh, hi there, sewing kid. How are you doing? Doing good. Good. Tools. I don't remember if we had any tools. I feel like maybe we do. Hold on here. Let me go ahead and, uh, go ahead here and give it the old checky check. Uh, yeah, we got some tools, some basic tools. The tools are okay for a few things. They'll fix up the hammer for us. Oh, actually, we can... Yeah, he's hanging out over there. All right. Now, the last time, we couldn't get l lucky worth a dam over here by the safe. But let's see if old Gray can pull something off this time. Editing gods, activate. Come on, baby. There we go. All right, what do you got for Gray? How about a jacket? How about anything? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> totally trolled. Totally trolled by the safe. 
You dirty. <laughs> All right. Okay, safe. You want to play it that way? That's fine. That's fine. We'll deal. We'll deal with it. All right. Uh, any kind of random hooks laying around over here? I don't see any. So, balls. This has been a total bust so far, but there is a very large bottom floor that we are going to have to get down. And when I say get down, I mean we're going to have to not dance our way down there, but we're going to have to deal with Fluffy right quick. Which means I'm probably going to have to make a fire outside briefly. Which is fine. I do have the, uh, the fire starter. No pry bar. I hope we find a pry bar down here because there is a lot of different wall uh, things and stuff that we could possibly get things from. All right, I'm going to go start a fire real quick, get a torch, just a little one, and then we're going to head on in. All right, I took two torches. I got a lit torch and an unlit torch, just in case. This should, this should serve us well. There's also a fire barrel down here, and I think if we get the fire barrel started, we won't have to worry about Fluffy. You boys ready? I told you we were going to deal with this some bitch. Get ready, boys. Into the haunted hydro dam we go. What sort of odd bounties will we find inside? How is our condition doing? Oh, it is absolute crap. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna eat this meat. There we go. Just to get our condition to stop dropping because it has been dropping pretty bad recently. All right, Fluffy, where the hell are you at? You little jackass. Uh, let's see here. I think we're gonna be lucky and actually get this in the first shot. Yes, okay. good. All right, a little bit of that. I don't mind putting a little bit of reclaimed wood over there. All right, let's friggin' move. Now, sometimes, not always, but sometimes there's stuff up up top here. Now, they're also, it sounded like Fluffy was up here. Like, up here. I don't see anything. I don't see, sometimes, there, a lot of times there was a body over there, and I don't see jack crap over there this time. I don't see anything over here either. All right, that's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, the condi our condition is very, very poor right now. We're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to deal with that one way or the other. All right, let's keep moving. Sometimes, sometimes there used to be some items up here. I don't know if we should be so lucky, especially interloper style. Fluffy, where in the hell are you? Toss this. Grab a better one. I have no idea where this creature is. He's got to be on this side. I don't think he can go through the closed door. I don't think. Uh, maybe he can. I don't know. Hold on. There it is. There's the sounds of the damned. Can you hear him? All right, we're going in. Hopefully that fire will still be there when we get back. I'm pretty sure it will be. Ooh! -hoo -hoo. What do you have for me, Mr. Corpse? Anything? Of course not. Can I take your scarf? It's right there, man. We should be able to take that friggin' scarf. This is bull crap. All right. We're down low. All right, locker, locker. It's all locked. <laughs> How about in here? Any, anything hiding from me? Nope. File cabinet. What do you have for Gray? Nothing? I'm sure that's the way of it. How's our time doing? Eh, it's all right. Oh, no. Oh, the sad music begins to play. Now oh, the sewing kit. Nothing wrong with a bunch of sewing kits. How about you, plastic container? Are you here to reward me? No, not at all. Uh, over here, not seeing anything. All right. I think someone once said every once in a while there's something like inside of those boxes there. Can't remember the last time I would have seen that. We're not gonna leave the lower dam, by the by. So, let's keep pushing in this way. Eh, newsprint, all right. That's an item, I guess. It's better than nothing. Anything over here? How about you hide some chocolate bars from me? Nope, not a chocolate bar in the house. All right, let's head downstairs. Now, a lot of times I've been lucky, and I've gotten scarves and stuff down here. So, if I could find a scarf, that would be pretty good. Maybe that would even get us to the point where we wouldn't be freezing constantly. Because we are still dealing with that freaking issue. All right. Nothing over here. Looks like there's some items up in this way. Ah, a first aid kit. A stim would be fantastic. I think we may have one on us. I'm not 100% sure. We would have found that way in the beginning. God. 
with the sadness of not oh, being able to find anything. Oop, wet food. Whetstone. Nope. Nothing else. And in the plastic container, zilch. Alright. Well, this torch has, uh, has done me well, and I think I see another torch laying on the ground. I do. So let's go ahead and grab that. As a matter of fact, I may... I wonder if I can light this torch. Hold on. If I can light this torch with this torch. There we go. Alright. Slightly better torch. There's the scarf I was talking about. Come to me, baby. Oh, you beautiful bastard. Yes. Alright. So, yay. My kingdom for a scarf. And a scarf is all we've gotten. Literally. It's all we got. Up we go. How we doing? Eh, we're doing pretty good when it comes to our, uh, our stamina. So I'm not worried about moving around too much. Backpack, nothing. I, th I could have sworn I remembered us being able to find stuff in there way back when I first started playing the game. Like in one of these flaps. Maybe you still can. And I'm just not picking the right flap. Can we be further rewarded, I wonder? Is that a toolbox under there again? I don't know. Yep, more simple tools. We are not going to need that many. Eh, shooting guide? Alright, well, there's no guns. But you can get the, um, you can get the achievement from reading enough of the books, I guess, if you wanted to. Let's keep going over here. Oh. Oh, this place. This place. So, where the hell was Fluffy, guys? You still waiting for us, or she? Oh, moldy beef jerky. Mm. Oh, mittens. Okay, now we're starting to get somewhere. They're crappy, but they are mittens. Um, so that's not terrible. Down here, metal shelving with nothing. Inside of here, I see nothing, but I will double check. Nada. Nothing on the sink. Anything under the way? Come on, baby. This is, uh, this is where you climb back into this place when you go outside. You don't come back in the same door that you go out. You have to climb your ass back in. Ah, uh, scrap metal newsprint? Bleh. Not super impressed. Alright, we got a couple more things here to check, though. Couple more things. Like I said, man, my attention span has been every- Oh, no, 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 don't extinguish. My attention span has been everywhere here. I've been trying to watch for the damn wolf. I've been trying to do all this. I've been trying to talk to you guys. And realistically, if it came between talking to you guys and doing better at the game, I would rather talk to you guys. How do you like that? All right, over here, box, no. Nothing under that way. And I don't see anything under this way either. I almost want to eat that beef jerky. Don't you get tired on me. We're not done yet. We got to get the hell out of here. So inside of here, uh, some tools, a scarf, mittens. I mean, that's not bad. I don't know if it was worth the giant hit to our condition that we took having to come up all this way. Especially now that we have to find a way to get back. I think what I'll probably do is boil some water over by our fire. The, uh, the fire that we made. It should still be there. I don't think that we've been down here for two hours. I know, I know that time passes much faster than normal. But I don't think it's past that much. We do have some reishi mushrooms that we can boil up to. I'd like to get those done. I think that that is done. So let's go ahead and get rid of it. I kind of wonder too if throwing it... I remember way back when uh, brandishing a brand would take like a ridiculous amount of stamina. Like, like you would brandish a brand and wave it around and, and hoot and holler. And it would take like 10% like of your stamina. It was ridiculous. Alright, hold on here. Alright, random fluffy? Nope. I don't see him. Okay. He's there. He's there. That's a problem. Oh, uh, shit. Hmm. Bye. Alright. Well. Things have changed. Fluffy is, in fact, there. That's not fantastic. That is not at all what I wanted to see. That's fine, though. That's fine, though. Gotta deal with it. Light her up. Screw it. All right, Fluffy. It's you and me. Right, you little jackass. 
There he is. We can get over by our fire. We'll make it. Get out of the way! Yeah! Yeah, you scumbag! Eat it! Alright. And now we're gonna hang over here by this fire barrel. I'm gonna add a little bit of fuel. Let's go ahead and boil up some tea. I told you we would deal with the fluffster. Oh, this is just heating up the tea. Damn it. I, I, I hoped that we had some reishi mushrooms on us. That is a negatory. Um, moldy beef jerky, I don't think. Yeah, it's pretty craptastic. It's pretty tough to get food poisoning from beef jerky. So, and like I said, normally I would much prefer to starve. But the problem is, right now, we are pretty beat up. Um, pretty beat up to the point where even I'm concerned. And I'm not usually a concernable person. Actually, I'm a liar. I'm a very concernable person. Yeah, you keep running around all psychotic like this fire rules your species, okay? It's more impressive than you will ever be, Fluffy. More impressive than you will ever be. Let's go ahead and boil this up. We have time. Uh, we have some time to get the hell out of here. I'd like to use the fire for more, but I don't know if I'm going to have the time to do so. I could boil up a little bit more water. All right, we'll do it. We'll boil up a little bit more water, and then we've got to get the hell out of here because Anything I don't, right now. I don't want to be too tired. Um, and we're going to be kind of weighed down as well, potentially, because as we get tired, our weight limit is going to go down, down, down to the ground. All right, blammo, we got that over there. I am going to, oh, this sucks, but I'm going to smash it up. It's at 34%. Anyway, don't let me lose like 35%. Okay, 22%. We're going to cook this up. That's going to give us heat as we drink it. I don't know how long the warming up effect is going to last. Probably not super long. But uh, it'll last for a little while. Where the hell did you go? I know you're in here. Don't you lie to me. There we are. Hot. 234 calories. That's fine. All right. Let's go ahead and take a torch. This gear. And get the frick out of here. Out we go. See a little plus symbol over there by our uh, our temperature gauge? That basically means that we are not getting cold quite as fast. So, I don't know how long in-game it lasts, though. And you can see the sun is starting to go down. So, we pretty much did this as long as humanly possible. If I would have stayed here and done, like, a double check through here, I probably would have been here for far too long. Uh, the winds are picking up out here. I think our torch is going to blow up pretty soon. We're going to have to give a wide berth because that wolf is probably still over there to the point where we're going to miss out on some cattail stalks because I want to make absolutely sure. In fact, I want to get down here. Hold on. We're going to burn up a little bit of our uh, shit. Well, that ain't good. That ain't good. Not going to lie. A little bit worried now. Uh, Temperature-wise, we're not doing terrible. The one thing that is good is once we get down here, we will be shielded most of the time from a lot of the weather. I've got to make sure that that wolf doesn't get on me, though. I'm going to miss out on some cattail stalks up there. That's just the way it goes, man. Let's freaking get down here. Yeah, you can see there is a plethora. Oh, my God. This is going to suck. This is going to suck so bad. I mean, if we had to, we could make a fire down here. Staying down here with a fire is not at all what I want to be doing. But these cattail stalks are very, very, very plentiful. Man, I'm not sure I'm carrying much very more. plentiful. So we're going to go ahead and grab all that we can. Um, in fact, I'm going to light this up so that we're a little bit warmer the whole time. Because we have a ton of fuel, if I remember correctly. Like, a ton of fuel. So... All right, cattails. Good. Uh, well, two two arrows down, so it's still not fantastic. The food is going to be our biggest issue in the beginning. Well, the food and the clothing. So we did manage to get a lot of the clothing. Oh, there's a friggin' stag over there. Oh. Oh, I thought that was a wolf. I almost had a freaking heart attack. Yeah, I'm not excitable. Not at a, not at the slightest. Well, all right. Sometimes I am. Oh, Haunted Hydro Dam with your ghostly wolf. That's what that's what the reality is. I'm telling you guys, that wolf ain't real. 
That wolf is some sort of friggin' apparition or something. I'm gonna have to run. Uh, and pray to God that we get back in time. If we have to, man, we may have to start a fire down here. I really, really don't want to do that. We have no place to sleep. All right, let's keep pushing. Oh, the weather's getting worse. Oh, God. I want to hit these on the way back. But we may have to even come out here another day. Now, on every interloper gameplay that every gamer has ever done, this is the way of it. The weather will troll you until the day you die. You'll be like, oh, I want to get so much done today. And the weather will be like, nope. And you'll be like, okay, guess not. Maybe tomorrow. And you'll be like, yeah, tomorrow. the weather can't be terrible two times in a row. That's impossible. And then this is a fantastic place to start a fire right in here, though. Holy crap. And the weather will be like, nope, still bad. Deal with it, Gray. Where's my damn, uh, hold on, let's get on this side. Where's my windshield factor reduction? There it is. There we go. Only one arrow down if we really hug this wall. I mean, like, we really have to hug this wall. You can see the flurries. A lot of times the flurries will tell you which way it's coming. Uh, let's keep, let's keep trucking over here as best we can. And when I say trucking, I mean we, we need to friggin' move. Don't do the blizzard thing yet, game. Give me, like, give me, like, five real-life minutes. Five real-life minutes. And Gray will be a happy boy. In fact, if you could just clear up, that would be even better. Oh, I'd love it. All right. Where's all my cattail stalks, man? There should be... There we go. I was going to say, that is not enough cattail stalks to sate my thirst. Or hunger. Whatever. We need more. We also need our stamina back. Our stamina is a little bit beat up right now. Like I said, our encumbrance is going up, up, up as time goes by. Uh, what do we got over here? We've got one lone cattail stalk. One sad, pathetic cattail stalk. All right. That's fine. Did the wind shift? It did. Or I shifted. It's totally just possible that we've moved as well. Don't, don't you get too cold on me, Jennifer. We're not done yet. All right. A couple more cattail stalks over here doing good. This is something that I could cut out as well. Now, some people were like, Gray, we'd like you to keep everything. Because for someone who doesn't know how to get around oh, in the game, right it's nice to see, like, a full walkthrough of where you go. I guess that's possible, too. I don't know. It's just tough because, like, you can't you can't use annotations anymore on YouTube. Oh, hi, little bunny. Oh, I'd love to friggin' beat you to death with a rock. But I can't. I gotta get going. And having a scent indicator on me would be really bad right now. Really, really bad. So let's just keep getting all these cattail stalks right now. Bunnies, I eat as you do. I hate being cold. You eat cattail stalks, I eat cattail stalks. I'm pretty sure bunnies would eat cattail stalks because they love hay. All right, nothing to see here. I just followed this river all the way down. Um, and I got maybe another 10 cattail stalks. We'll take stock once we get home, but we're also going to need to sleep. The other thing I want to do is I want to do a complete circle of the island. Uh, in the middle of this lake because the island a lot of times there is fantastic cattail stalks at So that is something that we're gonna want to do. Let's if I can if I have any stamina left now's the time to use it. I will say The weather Did kind of hold out for us. Oh, we have no fuel in the lantern right now I I can put more fuel in it, but honestly right now. Let's just get inside Like as quick as humanly possible. You can see our condition super low but as long as we have enough food to eat, and enough to drink, and, like, something to do outside, we're gonna be okay. The big issue is when you start getting I'm below, so I think it's 10%. Because right things start getting pretty crazy. Alright, boys, here we go. This is it. Do you know how much it sucks when the wind is blowing against you, and the goal is right there, and you're seriously about to die? Do you know how terrible that is? That is the worst. Like, that is, we are, we are seriously about to go into the long, dark sadness mode. If you guys have never been in the long, dark sadness mode, it's actually about to happen. Um, I can't sprint because we are completely out of stamina. What's going to happen is the friggin' screen is going to start to blur. I don't even care about those cattail stalks. We'll get them later. The screen is going to start to blur. This, like, really ominous music is going to start to play. And we're going to start wobbling back and forth. It's bad. Oh, look at our condition. Oh, it's so bad. 
Like I said, as long as we can sleep, we should be able to get quite a bit back. <laughs> oh my god, we made it. Yes, and we have enough clothes now to the point where it is legitimately warm enough in here. Thank you, Jesus, for your bounty. We didn't get a hacksaw or anything, which I'm pretty sad about. We may find it in the forlorn musk egg, though. Holy crap, though. That's why I don't check a ton of things. We legitimately almost died. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and eat a bunch of stuff. I'm going to eat this beef jerky right now. I'm going to go to sleep, and we'll see what our condition looks like in the morning. Woo! There you go, boys. It is... Hold on, let me just grab a drink real quick. It is still nighttime, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, the, it's going to start coming up. We can... Let me see over here. Go into the backpack. We can go ahead and refill our lantern, because we do have a ton of lantern fuel, uh, which is pretty damn nice. And that's going to be it for now. Our condition back up to around the 50% range, which is pretty sweet. And we ended up getting like, what, 35 cattail stalks? Because as of right now, we have 44 left. That is not bad. And there's still more to get. Guys, hope you're enjoying the long, dark, and the interloper mode. We almost died. Visited the haunted freaking Carter Hydro Dam. And yeah, we seriously almost died. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.